Hello again homesteaders, this is Jay and I'm out here in the middle of the woods. What are you doing in the middle of the woods, Jay? Well, it's that time to start thinking about tapping maple trees. What are you crazy, Jay? It's summertime. It isn't winter. Yes, it's not winter, but this is the time that you got to go out there, clear your paths to your trees, figure out which trees you're going to tap, go ahead and mark them. Let me turn the camera around here. And as you'll see, this maple tree, I put a big red M on. Why am I doing that? Well, during January and February, you're not going to be able to look up at the leaves to see which are your maple trees. So we go around and mark all the ones we're going to tap and put a big red M on them. So in the middle of January, February, when it is time to tap, it's going to make it much, much easier. How do we know which ones we should be marking? Well, in our woods right now, we've got sugar maples, and then we've got uh, the silver maples. These are the sugar maples. And let me get up closer here so we can show you the difference. If you look at the bark on this one, how that bark looks there. And now I'll go back down here to this one over here. And this is a silver maple. And see the smoothness, the smoothness on that one is a lot different than this one. They both got the same roughly uh, type of leaves. But the bark is a whole bunch different. And that's a silver maple there. And back over here, if I've got one, I think I picked one up. This leaf here is off of a sugar maple. Now, if you'll notice where the kind of where they separate right in there, that is rounded off. The sugar maple leaves have that roundness in them right there, and the leaf is a much larger leaf than a uh, silver maple is. So you want to look for that type of leaf right there on the trees. Then when you find that up there and the bark looks like the ones that you see off this tree here, that's your sugar maple. That's ones you want to go ahead and mark. Like I said, it makes it so much easier when it gets down to be the dead of winter and you're trying to figure out which ones you're supposed to be doing. Another issue is, to make it a bunch easier, you see I've marked that one back there too, um, clearing paths. We'll start now in the next few days, we're going to start bringing the saws out and loppers and cutters and everything. And we've got to clean trails down to every one of the trees that we're going to be uh, tapping. That's a pain, but it makes it much easier trying to get around carrying five gallon buckets full of sap back up to where we cook it down at. If you look over there through the woods, I think that's Sasquatch. No, that's Miss Amy. She's over there gathering up buckets that we still got sitting out here from last season. Bad us. As you can tell, our woods are pretty dense, so we've got a lot of work set out for us to go ahead and start clearing for them again. Everything grows back over the season here. Um, like I said, it's a real pain in one, two, three feet of snow to try and carry these buckets back up to the uh, cooker. So, I need to get back up there and think about getting some stuff and getting down here to start clearing. So I look around, here's one. There's another one. There's another one. Right now we've got about 50 trees tapped and we're going to try and cre increase that to at least 75 this year. Last year was a terrible, terrible year uh, for trying to make syrup. It just did not get cold enough. It was too mild of a winter. We actually, as much as we don't want to see it, we've got to have a very cold, snowy winter. And then a couple of two, three weeks of above freezing temperatures and below freezing temperatures each day for the sap to really start moving. So if you plan on uh, tapping your maple trees this year, I would advise you go on out in the woods right now and <laughs> clean your path out like this one is not cleaned out. This has got a lot of work done. But go out there, find the trees that you need to tap, get your splines ordered, get your hose ordered, get your bucket squared away now, get all that stuff prepared now before winter gets here. Go out there, look for those things that I showed you. Uh, find those maple trees now, put that big red M on them, and during January or February, you'll be making some beautiful, delicious syrup. 
And you don't need a big cooker like we have to cook. All you need is a pot and a stove or a propane burner and you can be making syrup. I'm going to go get my tools and start clearing some trails back through here and I'll talk to you again later.